Hey, hello, and welcome to another episode of We Break the Game Again. Oh my god. So we just realized that Invoke was talking for 20 minutes with the wrong push to talk. With us here is also GS. Say hello, GS. GS, he speaks a lot when there is no cameras. First, and this is K-Man. Hello. K-Man is a, uh, a very smart individual. He especially is smart enough to choose the best skin there is in Minecraft, of course. Okay, what are we? What is it we're going to show? Um, let me start over. Okay, so what? What? What is this thing behind us? Uh, this is not the suppression machine, of course. Uh, let's get, let's get on with this. Um, so here is a is a trap chest. Trap chests have unique properties. So just from top um, today. Xerox discovered that his entire life is a scam. He basically built those flying machines going to the end and it just ruined his entire life because now there is a cannon that can take the same trick in 24 hours. Then he said, SCOM, is there any way to make any chunk loading, perma loading in 1.15 in the end? And I said, no. But then there is maybe a way to actually use the players. If you log the player out without the suppression machine, then uh, weird things can happen, but there is no way to actually send a block update. So I uh, looked in the code, Cayman said, maybe there is a way to do this. Invoke said, there is probably a way to do this. GS, he wasn't even there. He was late to the party as, as usual. And then a bunch of people got on. We tested a bunch of stuff out, yada, yada, yada. And then we figured out that the, uh, the trap chest, when you open it and hold it open, like uh, K-Man Temp here, he's opening the chest and he holds it open. And you can see there is a opti suppression line that goes into the opti suppressor. Fantastic things happen now. Okay, so this there is a 50% chance we will crash the server. 50% chance. It's th this, this is based on a race condition and trust that it's completely unpredictable. So anyways. Let's uh, let's have uh, Kman Temp do his little thing. So what Kman is doing is to log in with a second account. You know when you log into the same, the, you have two Minecraft instances. You all, you log in again on the same account on the same server. Then you get kicked from the server from the first account. Anyways, whatever. Let's let's do it. Yep, I'm logging in my other account. It's going to take a few seconds because uh, three Minecraft this is not very good. And yeah, you, you can you can actually do this faster by just using a slash kill command. That's the only... Slash no, no. Kick. Slash yep, kick. There it goes. It's good. Oh, it worked? Amazing. Yep. It didn't crash the server. Okay, so here's the weirdest things that can happen when you have a player being kicked in this weird fashion. Let's go into spectator. Everyone go to spectator. Look at this. Difficulty hard. And now mobs are spawning, even if we are all in spectator count. The, the weirdest thing is that K-Man Temp is like here. He's actually here. Look at this. I can teleport to him. He's st standing right here. He's standing right here. But he's not there. Like. He basically is loading chunks too. Let me actually show that it actually loads chunks. Like, let's move out of the way. Like, if we move out of the way, look, he's actually chunk loading too. Like, if, okay, let me, this, oh yeah, by the way, here it's the test cannon. This is where we tested all the stuff. See, green, green chunks. You can't even kick him. Look, kicked from the game. You can't kick him. It's it's an in like an immortal player. He's an immortal player standing right there. You can't kill him. You can't kick him. Zombies. Look at this. Oh yeah, you should teleport him away too, and he still loads chunks. Zombies, they don't track him. Yeah, yeah, you can actually teleport him away. That's that's the even weirder things. This is when get things get really really weird. Okay, let's take him and teleport him to me. So now we've teleported him to here. 
Everyone just TP to me. Look at this. There is the chunks that he basically loaded, they're still there. They're still loading. Now, if even weirder things happen, if we actually move away from that location where the player is located, just TP to me here, guys. Okay, if we TP over, look at that. Weird chunk loading stuff happening here. If you look in the code, it says trying to mob spawn. Like mob spawning is happening at the border of a player chunk loaded area. Because the player is actually there. The player, Cayman Temp is located somewhere here in the void. While he's loading these chunks. It's some weird glitchy mechanic. This is another way, okay, if we actually put them, this, you can't teleport them away in, in, uh, in survival vanilla, but you, you can do all of this stuff except for the teleporting part. Let's actually, uh, let's TP him back here. So if we TP him back here, which is basically the survival way that then you can use it. So this is the way you can actually do fake players in survival vanilla. Fake players in survival vanilla, except it costs you Something like twenty dollars. You just have to go buy accounts. Why not? Twenty twenty dollars, cheap, easy. Buy some accounts. Buy twenty accounts. You can do twenty fake accounts. So the funny thing is, he doesn't step on pressure plates. Magical properties of this thing. He's basically non-existent. You can't push him with pistons. You can't. You can't even blow him up with TNT. You can't do anything with him. He's basically stuck in limbo. And it's based on this weird mechanic where you can open a chest. And then you just update suppress it. Anyways, uh, let's go to 1.15 and do some more experiments in 1.15. See you there. Okay, um, K Man can't close the chest because he's looking in the chest. <laughs> okay, so the issue is in 1.15, uh, we tried it, it doesn't work. We, t we tested some command blocks. Apparently, something screws up, the player just disappears from some important list and redstone and entity processing all that stuff just doesn't work i don't know what's going on we don't have any chunky bug here but all i can say it just doesn't work 15 is a bust we don't know what if it works in any other version in 1.12 but we know that it works in 1.12 so what is the conclusion what is the conclusion guys it fails so go ahead and kick me so we can see the server close don't play 1.15 Oh my god, it worked this time! <laughs> we have tried this over 60 times and it didn't work and now the last time it does work. Okay, the funny thing is, this, let me actually demonstrate because now that we actually can demonstrate this. Uh, let me put the minecart back in. Okay, uh, invoke. Like, you can see the K-Man is logged out, like just like in 1.12. This is amazing. I just, we never thought this was going to be possible. Okay, invoke, follow me. Invoke. So the second invoke is here. You can see that the messages are disappearing. And if I move back to in range to the old location, uh, both this and that command block starts saying hi. So something is not working in 1.15. And if Cayman attempts to log in, he can't log in. He's basically booted from the server until the server restarts, just like 12. Anyways, that's that. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is um, invoke. Where is the invoke? Invoke has disappeared. K-Man has logged out. He's standing somewhere here. K-Man was standing here. And that's invoke. Yep. We still don't know why he has a girl skin. But anyways, goodbye guys. Goodbye. And goodbye. Uh, if you have any ideas about why it doesn't work, uh, remember that update suppression is according to Mojang unintended. Bye bye. Here's some weird thing that GS was actually doing. He was like inventing while we were in 1.15. He had this insane idea. He found another multiplied by eight glitch. You can go to the world border. <laughs> this stupid glitch in 1.12.2. It's back. 1.12.2 multiplied by eight glitch. It's back in 1.12.2. It's back. Yeah, baby. It works in 1.15 too. We tested it. GS, GS invented this 1.8 uh, times multiplication speed. You can go to the world board again. Okay, this is how it works. Up the suppressor.
trap chest, flint and steel portal, right in front of the flint and steel portal. And then all you need to do is tweak no toggles, portal GUI clo not closing. So you need to have, either you need to be really good with your timing, like you need to open the chest in the correct timing just as you're about to go through the portal, or you need to be using a client-side mod. Timing or client-side, whichever you would choose. You want to go full vanilla, you need to get your timings right. So then you stand here, you open the chest, and bam, crash. Then you log back and into the game. We were at 50 to 60 in the overworld. There it is. <laughs> you go into the nether, same coordinates as the overworld. Same coordinates, the nether dimension. So it's basically the same thing as, okay, so why is this so important? So if I put another portal here and light it, now I will go back into the old world, but my my nether dimension haven't been multiplied by eight, but my old, oh my God, what is this lag? My nether dimension haven't, haven't been multiplied uh, divided by eight, but my going back to the old world is multiplied by eight. So now I just traveled something like 2000 blocks and we are in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. <laughs> Let me go back to spawn. This is spawn. See, 2,000 blocks. We went from 2,100 to 2,250. This is insane. Jeez. Get over here. The guy that basically invented multiplied by 8 travel again. Again. Amazing. That's that's that. I'm so happy that now we have another glitch in one play, like another way to get to the world border. For, you you guys know that cannon we just did, the big cannon that took 24 hours. Forget about it. Use update suppressed portals with trap chest. <laughs> it's back. It's back. Bye bye. Okay. This is for reals. This is the actual. This is the actual end of the video. Yeah, so just upload, are you gonna upload it today or tomorrow? This is gonna go up in 30 seconds. Forget about okay, editing. Cool. No edit. Okay. Let's go. Bye bye. We should probably put that in technical Minecraft community say new one new uh Fastest fastest update. way to world border. Fastest way to world border in 1.12. 12.2. It it, they would remove it in 12.1 from 12.1 to 12.2, but now it's back. It's back. Yes. Let's go. Let's go to world order.